Praise the Lord. Amen. So, so good to be back. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And uh, good to see Pastor and Sister Driscoll. Glad they had that wonderful privilege of going off and seeing the grandkids and all that good stuff. And uh, man, it's just nothing like it. I, I was thinking today, it's, it's been too long since I've seen my granddaughter. Oh, man, my daughter probably thinks I'm going over there to see her, but I'm not, really. I mean, I'll visit her while she's there, you know. Amen, but it's it's the baby I'm going for. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that, that little that little sweetheart, I mean, she's got her pawpaw wrapped around her little finger, and she don't even know it. Oh, yeah. Amen. And she probably does know it. Yeah, she's smart enough to know it. Praise God. But, uh, Amen. I appreciate the spirit of the Lord I feel tonight. Amen. 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 Feel, amen. Feel good in the Holy Ghost. And uh, so appreciative of the church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so appreciative. Yes, sir. Of the church. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. I uh, had two different conversations today with two different individuals that don't know each other. Both of them have experienced Jesus name baptism, have the baptism of the Holy Ghost and so on and so forth. But they mention that they are, uh, how can I put this? Tying in, and they don't even know each other, but they're tying in with some churches that are loosening up on the message, yes. listening up on the, the standards, right. praise God, and not necessary anymore, and blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. Man, you, you can be baptized. Oh, is this all right? Oh, yeah. You can be baptized in Jesus' name. You can speak in tongues all you want to. Uh -huh. But if you don't come out from among them, yep. To be a separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. Praise God. Amen. Love not the world. Man, I thank God for old time, Holy Ghost, straight up preaching. Hallelujah. Praise God. I, I love it. Praise God. I love it. Amen. My pastor always said, I love it when a preacher will just reach down inside there and dig everything yeah. out. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise yes, God. God. And it's not, it's, it's and, it, and I understand that it needs to be done in the right spirit. Right. Amen. The right way. Praise God. Hard preaching. We need it. Praise God. But we also need it done in the right spirit. The right way. Praise God. And amen. You can. I know some pastors so full of the love of God, some men of God so full of the Holy Ghost, full, full of the love of God, they can walk up and slap you right in the face and smile, and you'll smile right back. Amen. They just have so much God in them, they could just... And you just, thank you, I needed that. <laughs> can you say amen? amen. Yeah, I believe it. I, I've got, I got a little deal here that, Debated whether or not Pastor Driscoll's already seen this. This is a picture of my heart. Amen. And it shows all the blockages. There's a big oil stain on it. That's anointing oil. Hallelujah. Praise God. I, I poured oil on this on a Sunday night. And anyway, it shows all the blockages. What this has become in Jesus' name is just documented proof of what was. Not what is, what was. Praise God. Amen. And so, uh, it, you know, it's just amazing. Amen. I am walking on average between four and five miles a day. Praise God. And no cane. No cane. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. And I appreciate the strength of the Lord and the 
the Lord not only is healing my heart, but He's yes. right. healing me of All diabetes right. yes. and yes. Uh, yes. neuropathy yes. and everything else. All right. Amen. All right. Because I have a work. Amen. My wife and I have a work, amen, to do for the Lord, a calling that God has placed upon our hearts. Amen. And, and uh, amen, I need my strength, amen, right. to, to do and complete the will of God. Amen. The thought occurred to me today that we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Are we not? Yes. Praise God. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost, but the maintenance of the temple is our responsibility. Yes, right. Amen. And I could go off on a tangent. Hallelujah. The maintenance of the temple belongs to us. Praise God. Amen. That's not what I'm going to preach on. And everybody said, thank you, Lord. Praise God. Y'all don't need to hear a health report about, amen, this, that, or the other. But I do want to uh, preach and teach and all that kind of stuff from one verse of Scripture. Well, actually, let's go to Romans chapter Amen. 8, and let's begin at verse number 26 through verse 28. Praise God. Very familiar to most of us. It's good to see everybody tonight. Amen. And uh, Pastor, I will confess in your presence that I was a little rough on them Sunday. Amen. Uh, Sunday night, I was a little rough on them. Amen. Pastor Roach asked me, said, how did it go Sunday night? I, I said, it's a little thick. A little thick. Amen. You can slice it in several directions. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And amen. But I appreciate, amen, your long suffering. Hallelujah. The Bible said in Romans chapter 8, verse 26, likewise, the Spirit also. Everybody say Spirit. Spirit. Capital S. Yes, sir. God's Spirit. The Spirit of God. Also, helpeth our infirmities. All right. It may say, we got them. We got, them. We got oh, infirmities. Yeah. I hate to break the news to you, Brother West, but you got infirmities. Yes, right? They're all over you. Hallelujah. Yes, right. Praise God. We all have infirmities. Amen. But the Spirit helpeth our infirmities. Oh, all right. Why? How? For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit, again, itself maketh intercession for us right. with groanings which cannot be uttered. All right. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the, capital S, Spirit. Right. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Amen. Everybody say the will of God. We need to have an understanding that when we pray in the Spirit, and I ain't talking about just a little jibber-jabber. No. I'm talking about getting in the vein of the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about spending some time in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Not, not just speaking in tongues for a minute. I'm talking about staying there a while. Amen. When you, you unleash your, yourself, your human spirit to the Spirit of God, and you get in that vein, you get in that channel, you get in that, that, that groaning and that intercession. Amen. Praise God. And when we do that, when we find ourselves praying like that in the Spirit, in the Holy Ghost, we know that we're praying according to the will of God. All right. All right. Because in my flesh and in your flesh, because of our infirmities, we don't really know how to pray or what we should be praying. Yes, Praise God. And after it's all said and done. Everybody say after it's all said and done. After it's all Amen. Said. After 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, two hours. All right. 
when we come back down to earth, as it were, then Romans 8, 28 All right. plays in. Yes. It is then that we know that all things all right. work together on, for good yes. to them that love God, yes. to them who are the called according to his purpose. Yes. All right. Praise God. I want to teach, and I will not finish tonight. I promise you, you don't have the time. I've got the notes, but you don't have the time. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to teach tonight that all things work together. Yes, sir. All things work together. Amen. Amen. Pastor, would you ask the Lord's blessing? Praise God. Lord, we're so thankful for your presence in this place tonight, God. And we're asking you to move right now, Lord, on our Thank you, Lord. Our hearts, Lord, was God's. Thank you, Lord. Of what your spirit was speaking of us tonight. In God. Jesus' name. Speak tonight through your servant. We give you the praise and honor for it. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Everybody say in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. I am teaching from handwritten notes, which is absolutely dangerous. Uh, if you could see what I'm looking at, you would be praying for me. Amen. You would ask the Lord to help him decipher what he was writing 100 miles an hour. Hallelujah. Praise God. But all things work together. Amen. The scripture, Romans 8, 28, is what I am going to break down and, amen, we're going to look at in depth tonight. The scripture begins, amen, and we know. And we know. And we know. The problem is, a lot of people do not know. Right. Amen. There may be even some here tonight that you are not convinced that you do not know, that, that you have not been persuaded. Amen. You really are not convinced that God is in control. All right. Come on. Amen. That, that God is in charge. Yes, sir. Amen. That God sets the boundaries. Amen. Of both Amen. good Come and on. evil. Yes, Amen. Shall we receive good at the hand of God and not evil? Amen. Come on. Amen. Job said, and we quote it quite often, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. There's a fact. There's a fact that, that pertains to every one of us. It pertains to Bill Gates. It pertains to Warren Buffett. It pertains to Donald Trump. It pertains to everybody. Job said it. Naked came I into the world. Yes, sir. Naked we're going. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. You didn't brought nothing in. You ain't taking nothing out. All right, that's for sure. Praise God. And so, amen, it's the Lord's. Praise God. Yes. And so we must be convinced, persuaded. All right. We must know. We've got to get it into our spirit, into our heart. Amen. That all things, amen, we know, we are convinced, praise God. Amen. It can't become a why did God let this happen attitude. All right. Amen. Why did this happen? Why? The why me syndrome. Yeah. Moral been there. Hallelujah. I mean, been there. Why me? Amen. The why me syndrome has destroyed a lot of saints who fail to understand that all things work together. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Amen. The attitude, our attitude, my attitude, amen, should, amen, be, why not me? Right, right. Instead of why me, why not me? Yes. Praise God. What would uh, separate me or separate you from the rest of the saints who have suffered? All right. Amen. All the apostles were martyred, amen, save John the Beloved. Why would we be exempt? Come on, sir. Come on. Amen. Why would we think that we would be, amen, uh, set aside, that All we right. would not Come be on. 
persecuted, yes, that we would not have to go through trials, we would not have to, amen, thinking not strange. Yes, sir. Amen, some people go through stuff and they're going, what, me, how, why? why? Amen, that was the very question that I asked, amen, the doctor in the hospital. Why? Yeah. <laughs> you got coronary heart disease, huh? why? Yeah. How, how did I get it? All right. Amen. I don't eat bacon. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I don't eat a lot of junk. Amen. How in the world can I? Why? Praise God. Right. And that seems to be the first thing we want to ask God. Oh. Amen. When we approach difficult times. Oh. Why? Yeah. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Well, what? Why not? Praise God. Amen. Why would we be exempt? What would exempt us? Could it be that our righteousness would exempt us? Could it be that our goodness would exempt us? Amen. The scripture spells it out clearly. Amen. We are as sheep counted for the slaughter. You know, the one thing you've got to really appreciate about Jesus, amen, he didn't pull any punches. No, he Amen. He, he was kind of up in your, as Pastor mentioned a while ago, he's kind of like up in your grill. Yeah. He just told you point blank how it's going to happen. Right, sir. Right. Amen. He let you know they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. All right. Come amen. On. He, he let us know straight up, you were going to be hated. You were hated. Right. Of all men for my name's sake. He may not pull any punches. He didn't try to soft soap it. Right. Come on. He, he didn't. No, he just, just know. Just know. Any man come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. Yeah. Praise God. It's not going to be an easy way. Right. But it's going to be a doable way. Yes, sir. Come on. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise God. So. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter, praise right. God. And to understand this, here's what a revelation, amen, that, that a lot of people in the church need. Come on. The greater glory is not that God would deliver us from trials. Right. The greater glory is not that as soon as you cry that he would come down and rescue you out of it. Yes, sir. Amen. That's not, the, that's not the way God gets glory. The way God gets glory, amen, is that God doesn't deliver us from, but he takes us through. All right. yes, sir. Amen. The, 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 the glory wasn't the three Hebrews going into the furnace. The glory was coming out of the furnace. All right. Amen. And, and Lazarus' death. Amen. And Lazarus' sickness. He said, Jesus said the sickness is not unto death, but that God would be glorified. Right. 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 Amen. Who sinned? The question was presented. Who sinned? Come on. This child or his parents that he was born blind? Who sinned here? Jesus to nobody. Amen. Why we always got to try to tag sin on something? All right. Amen. It wasn't sin. It's not sin. Amen. It's right. that God would receive glory yes. through this. All God right. works. Yeah. Hello, yeah. folks. God right. works yes, through us yes. that he might receive glory. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And so, it is what we go through. Yes, if I say through, through. you got to go through it, praise right. God. Yes, sir. And it's what we go through that proves us and makes us and develops us and strengthens us. Yes, sir. Amen. And so as we're going through it, it is in those times that we learn to trust Him. Yeah, come on, sir. All right. I, I think I can get some amens tonight. Yes, sir. Amen. That I have found the Lord closer to me in the valley than it has ever been on the mountaintop. Oh, yeah. 
Amen. I may feel the zeal and amen, all of that to shout and to dance and to, all that on top of the mountain. I can see far off, amen, on top of the mountain. All right, come on. Amen. But he comes nearer to us in the valley. All right. Praise God. He whispers to us. He ministers to us. Amen. In the valley. Praise right. God. Come on. Yes, sir. Amen. It says those things that prove us and develop us and strengthen us and we learn to trust Him. All right. And we trust Him to try us. Yes, sir. Amen. Be tried in the fire. Refined in the fire. We're made in the fire. Yes, sir. Can you say amen? Amen. So we, number one, have to know. And we know. Amen. We've got to be convinced that God has my and your better interest at hand. All right. Amen. Yes. Amen. And the old saying is, no cliche, if God will take you to it, he'll take you through it. Yeah. Amen. That means that has to be true. Yes, sir. I can testify tonight. I've been through some stuff. Yes, sir. I mean, I've been through some stinky stuff. Yes, sir. Amen. I've been waist deep in stinky stuff. Amen. It stunk. Amen. And I didn't like going through it. Amen. But after having gone through it and the Lord cleaned me up, amen, the Lord blessed me after it, amen, I can testify that I am better off for going through it. Nobody, nobody would have benefited if you and I would have stopped halfway and said, I can't do this no more. I can't take this no more. You got to understand, amen, the greater glory is, amen, the people are watching you come out of your trial. People are watching you. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the glory of God will be made known among the heathen. Amen. Because you were faithful. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody say all things. All, all things. Thing. And we know all things. Not some things. All things. Paul said, For I have learned. Amen. Let me, let me go to that scripture real quick. Amen. He said in Philippians chapter 3 or 4 rather in verse 11. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned. Anybody say it's a learning process. It's a learning process. Amen. You don't learn it overnight, friend. In whatsoever state I am, Therewith to be content. Yes. I'm content. Yes. Content in 2016 is an amazing word. All right. Because there are so many people that are so discontent. Yes. Yeah. You can start naming it. You can start making a list. Amen. Discontent with their job. Discontent with their boss. Just discontent with how much money they make discontent with the house they live in, discontent with the car they drive, discontent with the diet they're on, discontent with, discontent with the wife they have, discontent with the husband they have, discontent the whole scope of life is lived with an attitude of discontentment. Unappreciate. All right. Amen. Of the things that they do have and what how they are blessed. Amen. Paul said, I have learned therewith to be content. Oh, that God would give us a spirit of contentment in these last days. Amen. Praise God that it's okay. It's okay. Oh man, I feel like I'm driving a Spike right now. Come on, it's good. Turn it in and say it's okay. Yes, sir. If you don't drive that 2017 yes, sir. Cadillac, it's okay. Amen. 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 If you're stuck in a 1974 L, uh, Ford LTD, it's okay. All right. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> if the air conditioner goes out, it's okay. Right. Yeah, brother, you, you know you've always got a fancy car, man. You don't know nothing about me. <laughs> 
Man, we had this, we had this car one time, we called it the Burgundy Bomb. When we first got it, thought it pretty cool, had electric windows. Till the electric window thing with Jeep went out. They met with us, well, it's okay because the air conditioner still works. Then the air conditioner went out. They met with us, well, it's okay because we can open the doors and get out. Then the driver's side door jam went open. We thought, well, hallelujah, still got a good transmission. Then the reverse went out. <laughs> Is that where it comes from? Hallelujah. Praise God. And so, contentment. Content. Hallelujah. Content in the good times, the pleasant yes, times. Yes, sir. Amen. It all works Hallelujah. together. Amen. And that work together, all things work together. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That word together is a word that depicts unity. All right. Yes. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. All things in our lives work together yes. in unity. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You with me? Yes. Yes, that is unless we disrupt the unity. All right. We can disrupt the Come will on. of God Come and on. what God is trying to work out in our life All right. when we take matters into our own hands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Right. We disrupt the unity. Amen. By our actions. Right. Amen. By our Come reactions on. or with our attitude. Yes. Amen. 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 Just all right. Praise God. That is, amen, when we try and we try to figure it out. Amen. And we try to fix it ourselves. And we try to take over in the flesh. And, amen, we, we have a tendency to throw in the towel. And we allow our attitude to become acidic in nature. All right. And we're all guilty. All right. Praise Come God. On. And we try and we take the place of God. Yes. Come on. Amen. All right. And all things would work together, but. Uh -huh. Amen. But. And so let God work it out. All right. Come let on. God work it out. Don't push the back. I, I got a, a message from a dear friend of mine. I've known him for many, many years. Actually, I got a message from his wife. Hey, man, she, she said, urgent prayer, re prayer request for Keith. Hey, man, she's in the hospital. And she went down this list. He has uh, type 2 diabetes. He'd been had an infection in uh, one of his toes, and his toe had to be amputated. And then he got another blister on the same foot. Uh, went and had it checked out. Had gangrene running all through his foot. Amen. And uh, said they, the doctor said point blank, in the morning we're taking your foot off. Sometimes the news isn't so good. Right, yes, sir. Sometimes the report that we receive isn't the report that we were hoping yes. for. Yes. Come on. Amen. Uh, and, and so when I, when I read this message from the sister, the Holy Ghost hit me. Calling right All now. Right. All right. This is a man of God uh -huh. that has been used highly in the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Used highly, tremendously. Has seen thousands, sister, thousands be baptized in Jesus' name in the prison system. Thousands have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Miracle after miracle after miracle has happened in his life. Amen. Praise God. The Holy Ghost spoke to me, said, call him. And so I called. And, amen. He was in the hospital. And the Lord impressed me. Tell him, don't push the panic button right now. Don't push the panic button. All right. So what do we have a tendency to do? Push the panic button. Right. 
Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Push the panic button. It's all over. It's, it's yeah. done. Yeah. You know, whose report will you believe? Yes, sir. Come on. We will Praise be God. Be Amen. Amen. Come on. Trying to, trying to help somebody Come tonight. On, sir. Praise God. Trying to help somebody. Don't, right. don't push the panic button. Amen. God is in control. Yes, yeah. Praise Amen. God. God is in control. Amen. Too many prophecies, too many words of, of wisdom and word of knowledge. Right. Amen. Too many spoken words into this Come man on. of God's yes. life. Amen. Well, God's not finished. No. God's not finished with that man. No. God's Come not on. finished with that brother. Right. Amen. They have faced obstacle after obstacle after obstacle ever since they took that particular church in that particular state that they're pastoring in. All right. Battle after battle after this is just one more battle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, somebody get this in your spirit. This is just one more battle. Yes, sir. Amen. But after you win this battle, my friend, you've got a victory. You've got a victory to shout about. You've got a victory to rejoice over. Praise God. Amen. I had two different doctors come to me. And I know I ain't going to finish this tonight. Hey, man, matter of fact, let me get my phone out. Let me see what time it is just in case somebody cooking chicken. <laughs> two different doctors at two different times Amen. came and told me the same report. All right. First was the cardiologist. Hey, man, after having seen these pictures, uh -huh. he told me, he said, Mr. Music, can't do nothing with your heart. Right now, because of the internal bleeding. Uh -huh. So if we fix your heart, we're going to have to give you blood thinners. And if we give you blood thinners, because of the internal bleeding, you can bleed to death. Right. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Amen. The, the internal doctor came by later on and said, we just want you to know we, we, we really can't fix the internal bleeding because your heart's so bad. Amen. And so uh, then they decided they would address the internal bleeding amen, first, and they would take care of the, the heart situation. That was their decision. Amen. They came to me, both of them again, at two different times. Uh -huh. They said, we want you to know, Mr. Mute, this is a high risk uh -huh. proposition. Right. Because you could have a heart attack while on the operating table when we're stopping the internal bleeding. And we don't know how severe that heart attack could be. It could be fatal. We just want you to know that. But, well, I'll sleep good tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Knowing that this is going to be first thing in the morning, thank you very much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something Jesus said. Never leave you, nor forsake you. Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the earth. Amen. 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 They, they had their responsibility to tell me the truth. Amen. Yep. But this, my friend, trumps everything this ever said. Right. Are you with me? Yes, yes, Amen. Yes, the promises of God. Trump everything, amen, that this would ever have to say. All right, come on. Amen, so about, I don't know, I don't want to exaggerate, don't want to be missed it by much. Amen, but somewhere about 5 o'clock in the morning, this Jesus I've been living for, this Jesus I've been serving, amen, came in my room, amen. And gave me this calm assurance. All right. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. All right. If God be for you, who can be against you? All things. All things. All things. Praise God. Work together for good. Hallelujah. Don't disrupt. Don't disrupt the plan of God by your flesh. Don't disrupt the plan of God with your attitude. All Amen. Right. Don't disrupt what God could work out of this situation. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, Amen. Sir. Praise God. And we 
have a tendency to mess things up. When we take matters into our own hands, and, amen, then we, amen, try to justify our action. All right. This word gets a, just a teeny bit pastoral. That's good. <laughs> I'm just practice. That's all right. Praise God. Okay, amen. Later on. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. That this, we try to justify. Yep. I don't know. We're all human. Yeah. I don't know how many here have ever slammed the door on your way out. Yep. I'm putting my hand back down. I, mean, I don't know how many of you have ever hit the wall. I don't know if I got anybody in there. I don't know how many of you talk through your windshield. <laughs> Call people Christian cuss words. <laughs> Idiot, moron. Yep. Jerk. <laughs> Just hope they don't read lips. Praise God. <laughs> oh, I told y'all the story, didn't I? Lord. Oh, did I tell y'all? Honest confession, good for the soul. I think I already told y'all this story, but it bears repeating. Good old Rick. Good old brother music. Yeah, good old. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. My wife and I pulled up to McDonald's. We got our coffee through the drive-in drive window. And hey man, I'm trying to get rid of some trash that's always in the car, ain't bad, and, and the car pulled up behind me, and ain't bad, I, I didn't notice it, they come real close to my bumper, and they laid on the horn, honk, 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 man, it just went all over me, so, well, my hands are wide, I do the same thing, honk, 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 they like that. Yeah. Pull out, turn the corner, watching his car. I didn't know who was driving that thing. Pull up beside me. I slowed down on purpose. I don't get eye to eye contact with whoever made me upset. Sister Roach, Sister Corey Roach, pastor's wife. Put the window down and gave that little queen wave of hers. <laughs> and I go, mm, no, I kind of, mm, uh. humanity. Everybody say humanity. Amen. 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 Praise God. And so our actions. First thing I did when I got to my wife's office, I picked up the phone, I called Sister Roach, I said, I think I owe you an apology. And she was laughing, 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 laughing. Yeah, she found out that Rick Music has a human trait. Have you found yours lately? Amen. Yeah, I go through Dallas, say man, through the windshield, hallelujah. Praise God. Oh my, hallelujah. Praise God, but sometimes we try to fix it. And we take over in the flesh. And we, amen, throw in the towel. And we, we try. Are you with me? Yes, yes. We sir. try and take the place of God. Yep. <coughs> Need to let God work it out. Yep. Here's what I believe. I believe God has your future and my future mapped out. All right. Yep. Amen. I believe that he knows my beginning to yes, my ending. He does. Yes, he does. I believe he, oh, you want to take it back this far? I believe he knew me, amen, before I was ever even in the womb. All right, sir. I believe that. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise God. That he has appointed our days. Yes, he has. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so let God work it out. He mapped it out. Amen. He got it planned out. He's got it figured out. All right. Amen. But we can mess it up. Real quick. And we take matters into our own hands. Then we try and justify our yeah. actions yeah. and self-justification. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Every man's way is right in his own eyes. But the end thereof are the ways of death. 
I can justify all my actions, but God is the ultimate judge of my actions. All right. All right. Come on. Now, I can tell you why I slammed the door and feel yeah. justified. Yeah. I can tell you why. Amen. I yelled through the window. I can tell you why I honked back at Sister Rogue. I can tell you, I can justify myself. All right. And we all try to do it. Yes, sir. But self-justification is one of the most self-condemning things Come on. that you and I will ever do. All right. Come on. It I is. was justified in doing what I did, Come on. even though yeah. it hurt somebody. Even when it disappointed somebody. Right. Even when my actions let somebody down. Yes. And my words became like darts. Come on. They became like arrows. Yes. And I don't know if you know this about words or not, but once you let one go, Come on. you're not getting it back. Right. The immature child I live with two of them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Both wonderful boys, wonderful yeah, sons. Are. They are. Tremendous. They are. But in all of their goodness, they're human. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> and so, the easy answer is, the band-aid, after big brother slugs little brother in the arm, or if big brother takes something away from little brother, or little brother does something to big brother, uh, the band-aid is, I'm sorry. All right. Mm -hmm. And that works as a child. Yes, but as we get older, the band-aid don't work quite as good. All right. Come on. It doesn't cover the wound like it should, or like we would want it to, yes. should I say. And so we have to be careful. Right. Amen. We have to be careful. Right. Because I can justify myself. I can justify my actions. Right. Why I responded that way. Why I had that, that negative reaction to whatever. Amen. And I can explain to you and justify myself. I had a right. Hope this is okay. This is good. Amen. I had a right. Right. Come on, this is good. You didn't. No. Come on. If I get to come back next week, I'll wrap it up. <laughs> amen. I'll I'll tell you, Amen, why you don't have a right, why I don't have a right. Praise God, because, amen, if I could just put a little salt out there, amen, because when we received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, when we were baptized in Jesus' name, amen, and God adopted us, amen, we relinquished all of our rights to the right of God, amen, to the will of God, to the personality of Jesus Christ, to do our best to emulate Christ on this planet. Praise God. Amen. And so self-justification ain't going to work, folks. Yes. Nope. Amen. It ain't going to work. Amen. Yes. Amen. All things work together for the good. And I will stop right there. Amen. Let's all stand together at 8.55. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All Things work together. For what? The good. Good. The good. When I first got out of the hospital, everybody tell me, Brother Driscoll, man, you better take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. I mean, my wife, she'd be like, you need some soup? No. 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 Absolutely not. Praise God. And so, the question, I, forgive me, but the question that has to be answered by you and I, individually, 
is do we trust God? Come on. Do we? Come on. Then I'll tell you what. Six weeks ago, you wouldn't catch me walking four to five miles a day. <laughs> Amen. They wheeled me in the emergency room and I couldn't lift my chin off my chest. And I couldn't open my eyes. But you know what? God knows exactly what he's doing. Yes, he does. Thank you, Lord. God. Yes, sir, he does. And, and you remember when I would tell you I was numb from my knees down? Can I tell you now I'm just numb from my ankles down? Right. Amen. And it's getting better all the time. It's getting better day by day. Amen. That I am in the name of Jesus. Amen. I would know, you would never know God heals unless you get sick. Amen. You would never know the glory of God in your life. Amen. Until you put in a position where God has to reveal Himself. Will you trust Him? All right. Come on. Glory to God. Do we trust that? Yes, sir. Pray God. Yes, sir. Come on. This is good. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let's, let's love him. Amen. Let's clap our hands unto the Lord tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. And, and I, I say these things. I testify these things for the glory of God. Not, All right. It's certainly not self-glorification, that for sure. No, no. When I went into the hospital, I, I thought I was doing the right things with diabetes and all that stuff. I, I read and I'm a health freak and all that stuff. And I thought I was doing the right things and I was doing all the right things the wrong way. Amen. I learned a lot. Amen. I, and because of my healthy, what I thought was a healthy lifestyle. I didn't monitor my blood sugar like I should have. All right. I didn't. I thought, man, how's it going to go up? I'm living off a salad, oatmeal. <laughs> How can it go up on salad and oatmeal? All right. Praise God. All I got to do is intravenously put spinach in my veins. What? <laughs> Amen. But come to find out, my average blood glucose level was 400. 400 destroys everything. Yeah. It'll take your eyesight, it'll kill your liver, it'll kill your kidneys, it'll All right. your heart and everything. They said, I said, yes. doing I said, Doctor, why? Yeah. About the heart. He said, well, two things. Number one, you've had diabetes for a long time. Number two, it's genetics. Amen. Man, parts and both sides of the family like crazy. Amen. But I was praying another morning, Bishop. And I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. All right. You know, all things have become new. Yes, I'm born sir. again. Yes, Praise sir. God. That, yes, I rebuke that generational curse all in right. Jesus' name. Yeah. No, yeah. sir. No, sir. Yeah. I, no, I ain't named claim to it. I got glory to my brother through me, man. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I'm strong in the Lord, the power of his mind. Amen. Thank God. Amen. 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 And so, now... And I give God the glory. My average blood glucose level as of last week is about 85 to 90. Yes. Every now and then, it'll peak over 120. From 400 to 100 to 90. That's 70. Come on. Come on now. Come on, I'm, I'm trying to stop. I really am. Man. I got the gift of gab. Hallelujah. When, when, when you understand that the only reason why, if there is a why, the only reason is, amen, is that God wants to prove to you, amen, that he is the almighty God. That there is nothing impossible for him. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No. Praise God. That's one. How are you going to know how to pray for somebody that's sick 
unless you've already been healed yourself. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Amen. Yep. Not to my my repertoire. Amen. It's heart disease. Hallelujah. I pray for people got a bad heart, they're going to be healed in the name of Jesus Christ because every right. artery is going to be unplugged All right. All right. right now. Yep. 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 Praise God. Yep. Do you believe it? Yes, all things. All things. All things. All things. All things. All things. All things work together for good. For good. For yes. good. The devil is alive. The devil is alive. Yes. All things work together for good. Praise God. Come on. Oh, there's so much. My Lord have mercy. There's so much. This is good. So much. Amen. Gotta go through this. Gotta go through that. Gotta go through it. Uh, Amen. Start out. I don't have time. Y'all don't have time. Joseph had a dream. Yes. All started as a child that had a dream. Yeah. Where it all started. Anybody dreaming in here? Come on. Anybody got a yes, vision sir. in here? Yes, Anybody believe in God for something yes, great in yes, here? Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. If you are, then there's going to be hindrance. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be forces against you. Amen. Amen. You're going to be misjudged. Amen. Amen. It comes with the territory. Yes. Yeah, come on. Amen. God willing, we'll take care of this some other time. Hallelujah. God bless you. Love you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Oh, you're